So today's video is going to be a little bit more casual and very relax. Okay, but today's video is going to be basically just me showing you guys my everyday summer makeup routine, what I've been doing, and like the products sometimes fluctuate, but overall like the actual look stays pretty much the same. My skin, I think it's so funny because on Instagram all you have to do is swipe over and then use the Paris filter and your skin looks so crisp and clear. So whenever someone's like, your skin is so clear, I'm like, no, it's just the filter. But I definitely do have some like discoloring and pimples and just texture. Who doesn't? Unless you're like genetically blessed. Unless your skincare by Hiram, like. I'll be showing you guys how I cover that up, but I still keep it lightweight during the summertime. And with all that being said, let's get this started. Okay, so starting off, I don't really use a primer just because I feel like it sits weird on my skin. I just prefer it without, but I start moisturizing. I'm using this Curology moisturizer. It's just the basic one that like comes in the kit. And I really like it because it's super lightweight and I don't feel like there's anything on my skin. So we get that everywhere in the grooves. Okay, so starting off, I'm going to take a little bit of BB cream. This is just the Maybelline Dream BB cream. This is literally the stuff I used when I was like, 12. I honestly wouldn't remember that makeup tutorial we did when we first started a YouTube channel. I think I used like a Maybelline BB cream. What's up? Okay, hi guys, it's Mar. Welcome back. What? Hi guys, welcome back to Marla Catherine. Today we're going to be doing a video on. It looks like Amanda. My back to I like to start off my makeup with using my daily moisturizer. Okay. I like to start off my daily makeup with my moisturizer. That's exactly how it sounded. And seriously, guys, I can never get it out. Of and seriously, guys, I can never get it out of the bottle because I use it so much. Okay, for real though, guys. Okay, so I'm taking my BB cream. This is the Maybelline Dream BB Pure. It's an eight in one beauty bomb, skin clearing perfecter, all that goodness. Um, I just take a little bit of this and I put it mostly around my T-zone. I feel like a lot goes a long way with this. So I just put it around here, there, there, and then around the sides of my cheeks. Cause that's where I get like most of my blemishes is in this area, which is so fun. Okay, but I do rub a little bit of it in with my fingers, but if I feel like I need to go over it a little bit more, then I'll just take this brush right here. This is from Sephora. It's a pro slanted buffing brush. And I like doing this because I feel like it's still lightweight and it helps to give a good base. That way you don't have to use as much concealer when I'm covering up my pimples. Just getting that all nitty gritty in there. I always get these like pimples that I can't pop. Like they just won't pop. They're just like there. Like I have one right there and it, like it won't pop. It's just there. So after I've done this, just to kind of smooth over my skin a little bit, it looks the exact same. Okay, so then after I put on my BB cream, get that good foundation going. This is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I think this is in the shade Sepia, but I just take this and I put it right on my pimples and I get those bad boys covered up, hidden, concealed. No, one, no one's ever gonna know about them except for me. And you guys, since you're seeing me right now, but keep it a secret. I just have like a line of pimples right underneath my eyebrow. So I also put a little bit of concealer underneath the other one just to kind of even it out. This is now the current state of what I look like. And we're going to blend this out either with my fingers or the same brush I did with the BB cream, whatever I'm feeling that day. Today we're going to do the brush. I feel like I've never been that picky with my concealers. Like this one's good, but I, I'm not like, this is my, this is my ride or die concealer. I'm just like, oh, that's available. I'll use it. Oh, what I was saying about the whole selection series book though. I basically had posted out my story and my concluding story was like my review about the book series and then I asked like what are some new book recommendations that you guys have so then I did one of those question and answer things on my story where you can basically write your favorite book series and then I go and I read those or whatever and I was scrolling through and I was looking at one and I don't think I have a screenshot but basically what they said was oh you should read this story um it's a fan fiction about you and Harry Styles and it has like two million reads and I was like I had no clue what was going on and I was like first off Harry Styles, what is going on? So weird. So I basically went onto Wattpad and I was trying to find what she was talking about and I couldn't and I was like, okay. So I basically went in and I DM'd the girl and I was like, hey, can you like, can you send me a link or can you show me like, what is, what are you talking about? She ended up texting a link and let me see if I can find like the name of the story. It's called Cherry or something like that. And it has 2.3 million reads and it's a 50 part story. And apparently I'm the main lead character. Like they use my pictures for the story. So it's like 
me. And it was so weird. I read the first chapter of the story and it's like, it's like cool that people actually write this out and they took the time to do it. And it's like, well done. Like, it was just weird. It was odd. That's like an entire world that like, I have no clue what's going on. Like all those fan fictions, that's a whole realm in itself. And it's like, I, it was just weird that like I was in it without even knowing I was. I mean, how many people can say they're in a fan fiction with Harry Styles? Like, let's be real. That's like my now, like my get to know me. When I go to school and they do those at the beginning of school year, I'll just be like, I was in a Wattpad fanfic with Harry Styles and we were in love. <laughs> okay, so now I've blended out most of my concealer and then I take a little bit more concealer and where I put it is right in the corner of my eye right here and then right at the end of it on the sides right here. And this, I feel like doing this has helped to lift my face a little bit, brighten it up without having too much cakey concealer. And I normally go in with my finger for this area. And then if I need a little bit more help, go in with the brush. Swing Cranton. Wow, just look how much brighter that looks. It's amazing. Definitely in real life, you can still tell there's like texture there and there's stuff going on, but it's just a definitely a lot more smoothed over. Not as noticeable and it still feels super lightweight, especially in the summertime. So after that, I'm now going to go in and I start to bronze up my face a little bit more. Like I, my arms are a lot more tan than my face and I don't know why, cause it's all natural. The reason why my face is so much whiter than like the rest of my body is because I normally wear a hat or sunglasses or sunscreen, especially on my face. My sun's not in the face that often. But I go in with, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. This is in the shade Fair to Medium. And I love just this palette. It's such a good duo and it's a really good cool tone bronzer. So I don't feel like it looks super orange. And I really like never, go in around my jawline. At least on my face shape, I just feel like it looks really unnatural and I have a hard time blending it out. So I normally only do my cheekbones and a little bit of my forehead. Anyway, so now I'm, now I'm, now I'm a boo. Okay. Now, if I'm feeling a little extra fancy, I'll go in with a little bit of the Hula bronzer, get a little bit more warm. And I always make this really weird like Botox face, like, like that. Okay, so then after that, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of blush. This is the NARS one. Once again, when it comes to blushes, I just use whatever I have on hand. This one's available. I'm gonna take this. I just really focus it right above and like almost on, like I blend the bronzer and the brush. I blend the bronze. <laughs> so, intermission please. I love Jamie Oliver, like the cook show. That show speaks levels to me. I just feel like that'd be the dream life, like living in a countryside cottage and having a cooking show. So all I have to do to do that is become good at cooking and live in a countryside cottage and have my own TV show. Like it's like not that hard. It's like not that complicated. Pretty much my face makeup is all done. I'm gonna move on to eye makeup. I'm taking the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. What a man of sugar. What a man of sugar. <laughs> then I'm taking this blending brush. Then I'm taking this blending brush and I'm dipping it into the color Puree and Summer Yum. I'm mixing them together. But I just go in and I concentrate this in the middle of my lid and then I buff it and blend it out. I like these colors because I feel like they help my blue eyes to pop a little bit more. Do whatever works for you guys. Whatever makes your eyes look beautiful. Okay, so now that I have the eyeshadow done, if I'm feeling really wild, then this is what I do. I actually do this a lot for photo shoots just because it helps to make my eyes pop a lot more. But I will take a waterproof eyeliner. This is not a black eyeliner, this is a brown one. I feel like it looks a little bit more natural, but I take it and I really like super finely will line my lash line and I don't wing it, I don't do anything. I just line my lash line and that's it. So I'm gonna go in and do that. It takes a lot of concentration. So if I like go up and close, up and up and close. This is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Another tip for you guys, if you're trying to do this, balance your elbow on a table on a flat surface. It's honestly not that hard. Just get the little fine strokes and you can do anything when you're sexy. This is the makeup look I'm gonna do when I go on the prices, right? And if you mess up at all, take a Q-tip and leaky. Okay, so now I have the eyeliner done and what I do to blend it a little bit more, make it look a lot more seamless is I take then a waterproof eyeliner, which is like a gel and I put this on my actual waterline. Because my eyelashes are naturally straight. Freaking sucks, guys. Freaking sucks, guys. 
I don't even say friggin'. That's like, fair. I don't, I didn't even say it back then. Like, I'll say like friggin' sometimes, but like, that's about it. Okay, but for real, I'm gonna go in with my Shishido eyelash curler. This is my ride or die, guys. Like, this is my favorite. This is the best. This actually is a really good eyelash curler. I feel like it's never really disappointed me. Unless it's gotten crusty dusty, then I replace it. But like, I curl at the root of my lashes. Like, I call this the three crunch step. I just made that up. This is the first crunch. It's at the base, so crunch. And then I go to the middle, crunch. And then I do the ends, crunch. And then you get this like gorgeous natural crunch curl. <laughs> I remember when I first started wearing makeup and like I would curl my eyelashes so intensely like once and then they'd just be this like, my eyelashes are naturally straight. So they'd just be like this box shape. Like it'd be like, and I remember my mom was like looking at me and she was like, Marla, like, how do you curl your eyelashes? And I was like, why, why do you ask? And she was like, cause they ugly. And I was like, just trying to help a girl out, trying to help a friend out. Okay, so then for mascara, I go in with the mixture. This is the Better Than Stuffed by Too Faced. And I'm gonna go in with a few layers of this and then the rest with the Glossier Lash Slick one. And then last but not least is eyebrows. I feel like my eyebrow routine lately has been so quick. I just take the spoolie, I brush them through. I very, very, very lightly blend them in. I feel like I used to do my eyebrows so dark and intense when I was like younger. And honestly, I just am not into that look. I just fill it in where it's needed. What's different about this is I take my soap. I made a TikTok on my soap brows, but I literally just have a case of clear soap and I rub this over my eyebrows and then I will take a little bit of like setting spray and I just spray the soap once just to get a little wet and then I take my spoolie, I rub it in there and then I comb this through my eyebrows. I just feel like it helps to make them appear a little bit thicker. They stay in place and I don't do so much where it's like feel sticky or weird. So it, honestly, I really like doing this. And the reason why I use clear soap is because it doesn't leave like a film over my eyebrows. So like naturally I have some freckles on my nose. So if I'm feeling it that day, I will probably go in and I'll just accentuate them in the slightest bit. I just go over the ones that already exist. Just like this. And then I take my finger and I just slightly rub over them. Okay, so that is really it. I <laughs> That's not it. I'm sorry, I'm, I lied. What I do is I will go in and my lips are so crunchy right now. So I'll go in with a little bit of chapstick. This is the Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask. Love this stuff. I've used it for a while now. Put just the slightest amount of this on, get it all uncrustified. And then I will take a lip liner. Normally I use either the Oak shade by MAC or I will take the Pillow Talk shade by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I saw this trick from Stormy Brie and Rosie Huntington. They were doing like a makeup video together. I love watching Rosie Huntington's videos. They're just so like inspiring and like, but what Stormy Brie was saying that she does is she takes her lip pencil and she basically tries to accentuate her cupid's bow because she feels like it helps to lift her lips a little bit more to make them appear a little bit more like plumper. But I just go in and I accentuate my cupid's bow and make it more of a V shape. And I feel like it just helps to lift my lip a little bit more. And I feel like it still looks really natural, so. And then I'll go a little bit underneath my bottom lip and then in the middle of my bottom and top lip. And then I take my finger and I just blend it all out. And voila, there is basically the makeup look. Just really working on like accentuating my features, um, keeping it natural, but still making me look like better than when I wake up. <sighs> okay. Okay, so then I am just brushing through my hair and today I'm just gonna put it like, honestly, I'm gonna probably put it back in a, to a low bun. And then I am ready for the day and that's about it. Okay, I'll see you guys in my next video, bye. Also, this shirt is super cool and I got it from a thrift store from one of you guys. I will link down below her thrift store company, but I'm doing an entire dedicated video on online thrift shopping. So get excited for that because then you guys don't have to leave your house because you have awesome clothes, so. There's my completed everyday summer makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what other videos you wanna see from me and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye, Felicia.